Wow, chapter 15. This chapter begins with Ed standing on what he said about him having to leave, about him not wanting to stand by his side, and Ed being conflicted about leaving. Because, see, the easy part is defeating the demon lord in the army, but the difficult part is the conclusion, the result. If they can't defeat him, Ed will leave. Like He can leave if he's exiled, but he doesn't want them to die. So that's the problem. Winning the war was not the issue. The conclusion was the issue with Ed being able to leave. Because if he stays and defeat the Demon Lord, is Alexis still the hero? He's well, this is things that he's wondering. If Alexis is defeated, no. If Alexis does not de defeat the Demon Lord, is he the st is he still the hero? Who will be the hero? Will it be him because he defeated the Demon Lord, and will he be able to leave? So he has to leave so he can go back to his original world. He has to be exiled during the journey, and leaving them. Leaving them was not going to be easy, but it's just something he has to do. And Tia uh, naturally, she really loves Ed, so this is difficult for her to just accept. So it just, it's just not easy for her to accept something like this. So, and it's, it's, it seems it's not easy for Alexis to accept either. So, and then it goes back to Gonzo and Ed talking before they were ambushed by the weak guy who they destroyed. And Ed is basically telling Gonzo that he's giving him, he's telling him that he's going to have to do something before Ed already knew that they were going to get ambushed and he didn't know if they were going to be able to defeat the Demon Lord army if they were tired, fatigued, and not fully at, and not, Foot at full power because the numbers were the issue not the power of them so he didn't know if they were going to be able to defeat them in that state so Ed asked Gonzo to watch his back while he do something but not his back against them but to watch his back versus Tia and Alexis to, to hold them back so and then Ed, Ed walks off he sprints towards the army. Tia and Alexis are like, yo, he's going the wrong way. But before he sprints, he gives Gonzo his baggage. So he sprints towards the army. And Alexis and Tia are like, what the fuck? Now Gonzo has to explain to them that he's doing the right thing. He's making a sacrifice. This is not easy for Alexis to accept because he wants... A part of him wants to be the hero, but in order for him to be the hero, his objective is just the demon lord. It's not this army. And Tia is Tia is pissed. She still doesn't get it. When Alexis, the hero, decides to accept this, he throws he throws as the the holy blade. I'm like, when I seen that, I'm like, oh shit. But after he throws him the holy blade, he tells Ed to return it because he know Ed's is he's powerful. After he throws him the the holy blade, Ed requests to be exiled from the party for what is it? Desperation. And when you are exiled, you have ten minutes before you can return back to. That world that he was at. So he has 10 minutes until he defeats them. And his 10 minutes. Tia begins to have flashbacks about. When everyone died. And about. The hero sacrificing himself. And giving her the jewel for the teleport. But she doesn't really understand it because. She doesn't actually remember these memories. What well, she does but it's in her soul. So she's having flashbacks of memories. That she don't. Remember in this time. It's just a weird feeling for her, and she doesn't really know how to control it. So now Ed is facing the Demon Lord and his army with the Holy Blade and his sword. Now the Demon Lord tell, tells him that 
you can't crush us and it will soon be up to them with lies beyond belong to us the demon lord race and i don't really know what that means but ed is most likely going to kill all of them it, it goes into this dope panel of ed look, looking like some type of berserker at the end this was a good chapter i liked it chapter 15